It's very, a very interesting situation. Uh, the councils voted on the West Bar plan. Uh, there are straw votes. Certainly people could revisit them. Uh, we are awaiting uh, the final uh, resolution that would include a fair amount of language that we haven't had in front of us to date. We asked the uh, planning board to provide us with some additional uh, uh, words with respect to particular properties in the West Bar plan. So at this point, uh, I've actually delayed the date that the council will take up that, that resolution. Uh, I think it's going to be the first week in May now. Uh, the community seems to have be very, uh, it's great, the community's interested in this. Uh, we've, uh, I think if most community members, if they looked at what the council has done, they would see that we have uh, really tried very hard to listen to everyone. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, the staff analysis that has been before everyone has addressed the issues of transportation and school capacity. Um, again, this is a master plan. It's a 30-year vision for how uh, the area may uh, redevelop, and I'm not sure if people fully appreciate that, but that's what, what the council vote is. It's not a vote on a particular project. And uh, basically, the areas that we ended up uh, focusing on were the properties, some of the properties right along West Bard Avenue there, uh, where there already are uh, very tall buildings. Uh, so we really focused on the internal area of the uh, West Bard area, uh, neighborhood, leaving the edges alone. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, aware they've been busy over the weekend, and I'm sure we're continuing to hear from those folks. The takeaway from these uh, protests is that the, the downsizing that you did from the plan commission's earlier iteration of this was, was simply not enough. Mm -hmm. So do you see any scenario under which you would go back and try to um, whittle this down more? Well, I'm, I, at this point, no. We've worried about these issues. Uh, we have uh, prioritized affordable housing. Uh, we prioritized uh, combat compatibility in the area. Uh, wh where there is um, height, uh, people tend to not realize there's some pretty tall buildings there in West Park. Um, that have existed there for a long time. Uh, and those are th where there may be uh, a couple other buildings similar to those uh, in this, right in the center there of the West Bot area, not adjacent to uh, single family uh, neighborhoods. Uh, so, mm -hmm. it, and we, uh, there's universal agreement, it seems, that the shopping center area should be refurbished and redeveloped. And the moving parts of this are, are ones that we have uh, worried about r really very carefully and very thoughtfully. And I think at the end of the day, should um, the possible developments there go forward, uh, people will be pretty comfortable with how it turns out. Uh, and is, uh, you know, right now it's, it's an interesting scenario. Uh, we've never quite had this situation where people have continued to uh, be unhappy after we've really done our best to listen to all sides of all this and put in place county priorities that we believe to be very important. And uh, it's unprecedented that we're leaving this much time really as between the straw vote and the final vote on this uh, for, for further conversation. So that's where we are right now. Do you think there's a larger problem about trust and credibility here that the problem is that Folks that are out there protesting simply don't find the numbers credible. They don't find the uh, school population numbers credible. They don't find the traffic numbers credible. I, I have a hard time. I mean, I, I look at the student population numbers, and it's you know, 95 K through 5 students. That's, that's all. I mean, it just doesn't, it's, it doesn't seem, it doesn't ring true. It's, it's it's really interesting. I realized, you know, the West Bar community is one that really hasn't lived through too many of these land use debates for a while. Um, and so it's a an constant uh, helping people appreciate the analyses that that go into these master planning processes, and it's it's really been very interesting. Uh, our staff has spent a lot of time with them, uh, sharing with them the analyses that that 
that are consistently employed everywhere uh, throughout Montgomery County, but this is one community that really hasn't been uh, part of that conversation previously. So uh, we've been bringing a staff, and the planning board has been trying to uh, help people analyze, uh, appreciate the analysis that's been employed. I mean, if you were to tell people what we know from our transportation folks, that actually congestion levels have decreased over the past few years, that's countywide. People might say, you can't, you, you know, what are you smoking? You must be crazy. But the data is the data. And a uh, certain, oftentimes, um, perception is different from uh, fact. And all we can do is listen to our uh, experts, ask questions, make sure the analysis is, is as thoughtful and as uh, responsible and as justified as possible. And we, then we, you know, take it under consideration as we move forward. Thank you.